Gaza's health ministry reported that 704 people, including 305 children, were killed on Tuesday, marking the deadliest day since the conflict began three weeks ago. Israel's airstrikes in response to a Hamas attack on October 7 have taken a devastating toll, with over 5,791 Palestinians, including 2,360 children killed. Violent clashes have also intensified in the West Bank, and tensions have flared on the Israel-Lebanon border. Iran, a supporter of Hamas and Hezbollah, warned Israel against its actions. Israel's military has also engaged with Syria and claimed to have faced a confrontation with Hamas divers attempting to enter Israel by sea. Meanwhile, its staunch ally, the United States, has advised against a ground assault, focusing on the release of hostages held by Hamas. Gaza's healthcare infrastructure is under strain, with many facilities closed due to damage and fuel shortages. Due to damage or a lack of fuel, more than one-third of Gaza's hospitals and nearly two-thirds of primary health care clinics have been forced to close. The UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees has warned of suspending operations due to a lack of fuel. However, Israel maintains its decision to block fuel entry, citing concerns about Hamas seizing it. On the other hand, mediation efforts, led by Qatar and the US continue to aim to secure hostage releases as global calls for a ceasefire and humanitarian aid to Gaza persist.